Okay, Holtzbrook replacement handles, straight from the source. Welcome back to Joyful Obsession Channel about axes. All right, you can't have an axe without an axe handle. Critical, there's not all that many working parts in an axe. You got a handle, you got a head, that's it. It's very simple, which is what I like about it. It actually is very simple. But you can obsess about every piece, as I do, particularly when it comes to one of my favorite brands, Holtzbrook. And I want to do a, a review to give you some of what, like, what's the difference and what, I mean, what do you get with um, high-end premium line handles from Sweden versus anything else you could get out there. And yeah, you know me, if you watch my videos, I love hand-carved handles, love them. I'm always looking for people trying to, to do that and, and actually can contribute with great designs. But you gotta hand it to Holtzbrook's make Naxes for like 300 plus years, hundreds of thousands of them, maybe millions, and they have strong opinions on what's good. And they just do what they do. I, and I appreciate it, all right? You gotta respect it. So we got two handles here. This is the, uh, I think it's the uh, Anaby handle, all right? The Anaby handle. And it's gonna go on this gnarly, one and three quarter pound. And you know, on the, on the Holtzbrook website, this is a, they call this a turpentine pattern. That's what they call it, a turpentine pattern because of this collar, because of the shape, long cheeks, and just that weight is weird. One and three quarters pounds is a, is an odd weight. So I have not seen many of those, but I had to have it. It was in good shape, had a little bit of sticker left on it, and it needs a handle. So we got this nice one. It's going to go in there. Okay. And then this is actually the Motala throwing axe handle. And you can tell it's a thrower because it's straight and it's thick and it's beefy and it's short. <laughs> you know, it is not, it's, it's, you know, it's not really a working double bit handle, but I needed something that's going to fit in my display for this four pound double bit head that is going to be ground down quite a bit. It's going to be glorious when it's all through. So what do you get with a Holtzbrook handle? So it's interesting. I have a couple of others here. All right. This is a beaver tooth from Beaver Tooth Company. About um, Holtzbrook's handles are about two and a half times more expensive than the equivalent. And sometimes the higher ones more. Okay. And you can just right out of the box, you can see some things. One, the handles from Holtzbrook come already pre-treated with BLO. That was very nice. They got great color, got a great hue. So I'm not sure it's pure BLO. I kind of think, I just kind of think, having worked with enough hickory, there's, there is a little bit of dye or, or um, you know, some coloring in their treatment. And they feel good. All right, they feel good. Yeah, Holtzbrook has spent time shaping a handle that can still be production level. You know, we're gonna knock out 50,000 of these a year, but is slim enough and has a great feel to it that it's hard to get with the cheaper handles. You got, generally, if you really want it to be nice and have it feel good, you gotta do quite a bit of slimming. Okay, um, comes with a wedge, also comes with two. I wonder if I got them here. You also get, oh, they're in a box somewhere. I wanna show you the little barrel wedges. So Holtzbrook uses barrel wedges, right? I'm gonna throw some photos in here. They use these barrel wedges um, to wedge the top of their axes. We could have a discussion for hours about whether it's necessary, whether a barrel wedge is better than a straight wedge, whether no wedge is needed at all, whether you can secure that wedge with BLO or Loctite or wood glue or whatever. All I can say is these are high quality. And frankly, maybe the Swedes know something about hanging ax handles, having done it for centuries and basically survived as the premium uh, production level brands in the world. So maybe there's something to the barrel wedge, but I'll just leave it at that. There's a lot of details on the Holtzberg handles 
uh, that you're not going to get with a cheaper handle. Okay, for example, with the Anaby here, you've got a, a great drilled out hole for a lanyard or a cord, and it's it's well done. You know, that's that's a high end finish. Uh, the knob is sanded better. Okay, there's more finishing here. Um, a lot of rough wood left um, on the beaver tooth, so if you wanted round inches or you wanted to curve those off, which I think most people do, you know, you've got more to work. You're in better shape with a Holtzbrook than you are with the um, with a cheaper handle. You know, grain orientation is a, a personal type. The beaver tooths usually have pretty good um, grain orientation if you get the hand-picked ones, right? So if you go to the website, you get a hand-picked one, you get it without lacquer, you pay a few extra bucks, and they'll try to find you one and usually do within that fifth, that 45 degree um, window. You know, you don't want the, they want the grain just within 45 degrees, you're gonna be fine. You really are gonna be fine. If you wanna obsess on straight grain, um, you know, that's, that's harder to get. And then they'll do a better job with the grain run out okay along the handle and of course in a premium Holtzberg handle they're for sure gonna be there all right Anaby's okay okay right that's okay all right the run out looks great though it really does so they're gonna be hand-picked and they're gonna get you a good hand you have a higher up higher chance look at that can you even see that I didn't even get some light on it Ooh. Yeah, that's so on the metal, that is right on. That is really good looking. All right, look at that grain. So you get what you pay for in a lot of things. Detail, all right? Get a great logo, looks good, snappy, high quality, great feeling handles. So, great stuff. If you're an HB collector, even if you're not, you just want a great handle, you know? For a little extra money, you can get something significantly higher quality than your basic link or house handles or the stuff, you know, you can get at the hardware store. This is just better, it's gonna feel better, wear better, and it's gonna take your dyes, your stains, and your BLO better. In the near future, Doc Terror and his cyborg companion hacker unleash their forces to conquer Earth. Only one force can stop this evil, a handful of brave men. In specially created exoframes, they can be transported anywhere to fuse with incredible assault weapon systems, being down from the space station sky vault, becoming man and machine power extreme.